Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. Um, I know I am. Uh, it's been uh, a bit peaceful at the moment with uh, my boys and uh, wife away, so I've been able to get a lot done. Uh, anyway, I did promise you in my last video that I have a five, um, you know, a coin or round uh, special, so I have them here and I'm going to talk about them as a kind of a rapid fire, uh, so to speak, uh, video. Anyway, the first, all of them, by the way, are all uh, done with uh, Beard & Co. And uh, they're all four nines uh, fine silver. And uh, Beard & Co. is one of the companies that um, not only do I actually purchase physical bullion from, but uh, I do actually use, um, you know, their online trading policy. So um, it's the only one that I actually like. So let's see here. The first one I'm going to talk about here is the Pedigree Falcon. Now this is uh, one of the series um, of coins that they have, and uh, I don't think the camera's going to do it any justice um, because I got a lot of backlight. But I mean, it's uh, really is, in my mind, a, uh, a wonderful little uh, coin. Now you have to pick these up in tubes of, um, I think there are ten or twenty. I can't fully remember. Uh, so, I have quite a few of these. Uh, so, that's the first one. The next one, again, that they're all the same. Well, I say that they're all the same. We'll get to that at the end. Uh, the last one is the one that will be different. Um, again, four nines. And you've probably seen this many times. It's the Monarch of the Glen. Um, and uh, oh, I think it's absolutely lovely. Um, you know, I do like the the large stag in front uh, with the you know the Scottish uh, glen in the background. Again, it's uh, very similar to my uh, tin that I have. All right, so we're going to now move on to some lunar series. Uh, scan it's beard, and this one's uh, the ear of the tiger. Uh, these are all, uh, or, or have become quite difficult and expensive to grab a hold of in some respects, but you can still pick them up if you buy them uh, from Beard & Co. for uh, a very good price, but trying to buy them just individually if I wanted to complete the set with just one is uh, just ridiculously expensive so I think I'm going to end up uh, finishing off this set eventually um, by purchasing 20 plus. Um, saying that I'm not too sure because when we get to the last coin you'll see what I'm not really happy with. Um, again four nines, the ear of the rabbit Again, I, they're not that detailed, but they're detailed enough. I mean, you, they're showing their age as far as how, in my mind, how uh, a lot of the recent coins have developed. Uh, and bear in mind that, you know, these have been sitting in my safe, so they, you know, the plastic's getting scratched up. The coins are actually fine. They've actually never been taken out, so, All right. And the last one, you can see here, what I'll do is I'll just pull up any one. I'll grab uh, the tiger. So they started changing it to like a kind of frosted, you know, uh, view. Um, but I thought that's a bit cheeky and kind of wrong, considering that they've already started a series. They might as well have kept it the same. And as much as I love the dragon, which is the year of the dragon here, um, 
and I also do love the frosted uh, effect that it has, I'm also not liking the frosted effect only because it doesn't correspond with any of the other um, rounds, I can't call them coins because there's no denomination, that are in the series. So, and uh, I only have three, I think there's a, a, I don't know, maybe three or four more out. Um, I stopped collecting uh, after that point. I'm still undecided what I want to do, but um, I thought uh, I'd give you a nice uh, surprise here. Let you see some of the, the Beard & Co, which uh, I still think uh, produce fantastic bullion, um, especially in uh, the large bars that uh, you'll see from uh, a lot of my friends' channels and uh, so on and so forth. But um, Definitely the way to go. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for the pictures which always follow. And uh, have a great Sunday. Bye for now, guys.